As you can see, hers is trying to come out a little bit. And we're also going to slip these down gently. Keep yours there so they can see. These you'll probably want in a little bit deeper water. Get closer. I don't want them on my hand too much because I don't really want him to pinch me. I was just joking when he didn't really hurt me at all. That claw is too small to get on you. It's crazy how fast they are when they suck back into that shell though, huh? You want the quiet one? Okay, well, we're gonna go release really them back into deeper water. Okay, you ready? Okay, so these are the marine snails and we're gonna gently put them back down into the water because they were found right on the sand right here and the water is brushing up, so. We're gonna show you how to gently put them back. As you can see, they're going to... Down. I like to bury a little hole and put them down so they might come up if they want to because I see all of them are getting buried. See, as you can see, they're already burying themselves back down. That's where they feel safe and you want to make sure they're gently back. And we don't want other people finding them either. Um, what else do we have in there? Uh, we have like some shells. What kind of shells? 
That one in your hand is a baby Florida claw. That is a worm snail. And then worms. These are barnacles. Those are just marine snails. You can just say marine snails. Barnacles. barnacles. And that's it. Not like um, The barnacles are not a gastropod. They are not a snail species. They're closest to the crab. They are, which is what? And Yes. Hey, him, you can even toss a little bit. Stay like a baseball. Like an underhand softball. Oh, that'd be, that'd be perfect. This is our giant palm snail, so. Can I put him on my hand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He won't hurt you. He might come out and touch you, but he won't hurt you. <laughs> oh, he came, he kicked you. So that's why they're called fighting conches, because when you pick them up, they'll kick you with their foot. This part here is called their foot, and there's his eyes. And these are a predator. These are the ones that are doing these little holes. So what they're doing is they're coming out and they're looking for this animal. He's kicking. It's called fighting. So when these animals are alive, these little sunset uh, clams, or these Venus clams, when they're alive, they look like this. And the snail will crawl over top of it, and then drip little drops of acid to make that hole and then they will put a little, it's like a straw, almost like a proboscis, that they will suck out the animal and that's how they get their food. Now a little rule I like to tell about these guys, he's getting agitated because these live where? In the water. In the water. And they cannot stay out of the water for too long. So a little rule I like to talk about is as long as you're holding an animal that breathes underwater, hold your breath. And as long as you can hold your breath, that's how long you should be keeping it out of the water. All right, you guys. Um, so we found some really cool stuff here. Um, we're gonna. We found a couple more little snails in the in the bowl that we're gonna put back. Um, the main thing we want everybody to know. What's the biggest thing people should get out of this? Just remember, if you are looking for things in the ocean to take, make sure they're not alive. Not only is it important that these animals stay alive, um, if that doesn't bother you, maybe it'll bother you that it's a uh, good find if you're caught taking live animals or live shelling off of, the, off of the beach. Hopefully you care though that they're just living creatures and they deserve to live just like we do. Um, the biggest thing though is educate yourself. Um, when you're coming to a new beach or on vacation, educate yourself about all the different things that you might be able to find and what you can and can't take out of the wild places. Uh, best thing to take in the wild places are pictures. Oh, yeah, I guess dead shells, too. Right, you want to go put those back? All right. Find Ranger Rob at the pink shell. And remember, do your research and don't take random things from the wild. Thank you, guys. See you next time.